So we start first start with the client bottle. Uh, the client bottle is almost exactly like a torus, but uh, with a slight difference. So we first draw our two serve. Looks like a rectangle. We draw vertices. There's a single vertex. As you see, when we fold it up, it will be, all these four vertices will be identified together. So we have the top side of the rectangle. We mark it as edge A. The bottom also as edge A, just like in torus. The left side as B. And here we will see that unlike torus, the orientation is opposite. So you twist it when you glue the horizon, uh, the vertical sides together. So C0 is generated by a single vertex V, so it is the entire ring of integers. C1 is Z2, it is generated by sides A and B. And C3 is the, just the surface, the two cell. Yeah, let us put some lines here to show that it is a two cell. So let us now write the chain complex. C2, Z square which is C1 and then C0. So we want to find the delta 1. Delta 1 of A is just V minus V which is 0. This is same as delta B. So the kernel of map is the entire Z square. Now delta 2S is slightly more interesting. We first have to draw the orientation entire clock. So start with at the bottom of the figure. A is in the opposite direction compared to the pink entire clock. B is in the same direction. Top A is in the same direction. And then B on the left is in the same direction. What we get is 2B. So this map is an injective map multiplication by 2. Image is 2Z and kernel is 0. Yeah, this is just Z, so this is what we get. What about H1? Kernel of delta 1 over image of delta 2. So uh, we can see that entire z square is mapped to 0 so we have z square here image of delta 2 is just 2z so we will just modulo it out and what we get is this z direct sum with z by 2z what about h2 we, we have to only worry about kernel of delta 2 a kernel of delta 2 is 0 because it's an injective map, it is multiplication by 2. So, what we get is 0. We don't have to worry about whatever image of delta 3 might be. Anyway, in this case, the image of delta 3 is also 0. Since we do not have 3 or higher cells, and the chain is all 0, so we get 0 there. Now we move further. This problem is taken from Hatcher. It is the parachute problem. It says, uh, you know, you have these three vertices. You identify them together. And we have three edges, A, B, and C. There's a two cell in between. So notice that we had solved one of these problems of five-fold uh, dunce cap. This is a different because C is not in the same direction as A and B, like it is not entire clock. So C0 is generated by a single vertex V, C1 is generated by now three edges, A, B and C. And C2 is generated by this two cell, which is, uh, yeah, inside is two cell. So let us write down the chain complex Z cube for C1 and finally we should write C0 
so now let us like the delta delta of all the edges is v minus v so you get zero this is multiplication by zero map what about the surface delta of surface delta 2 so we have to first give the entire clock orientation for our two cell let us give it in the blue color a is in the same direction b is in the same direction and c is of the opposite direction so we have combined the three edges into one so this will generate by itself it will generate the ring of integers so three edges have been combined into kind of a single edge so this is nothing but linear algebra so what is h0 is c0 over image of delta 1 image of delta 1 is 0 as you can see so this is very clear what about h1 kernel of delta 1 which is z cube over image of delta 2 so image of delta 2 is generated by the linear combination of three edges which will just give us z numerator is z cube so let us write this down what about h2 this kernel of delta 2 over image of delta 3 so what is kernel of delta 2 that is just 0 because uh, yeah it is clear you know you just get this uh, entire z gets embedded into uh, z plus z plus z so you need to understand this that the surface uh, this is actually nothing but a rank nullity theorem so it is an injective map therefore the kernel is zero we took the surface and reduced it to the combination of edges but this problem is also taken from Hatcher the problem is simple you have a delta n complex and uh, this delta com complex is obtained from delta n uh, by identifying all faces of delta n of the same dimension so uh, yeah so you take you have a delta complex is obtained from delta n by identifying all faces of the same dimension so basically what is happening is that in every dimension now you have just a one cell of that dimension because you have identified all cells of equal dimension. Now this will make more sense as we solve the problem. So obviously for greater, or greater than n we have no cells so it is 0 there. So let us pick up an MCM. So CM would consist of a single delta n because you have identified everything all delta n you have identified so what will be the boundary uh, you apply the boundary map now we have to identify all these together so all these are identified into single delta n minus 1 so you take it out because now it's just one of the synthesis and what we have inside is just this sum now notice that these are m plus 1 terms 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 all the way to m is m plus 1 because we're counting from 0 so obviously this is 0 when m is odd because then there are even terms so even terms cancel out m is odd so m plus 1 is even and similarly it is just delta m minus 1 if m is even now what does this mean yeah let us write it here so uh, m is 1 so that means this is multiplication by 0 and this is just the delta 1 map so we see that delta 1 is 0 and delta 2 is an injective map so let us write this down 
kernel of delta 1 is equal to image of delta 2 so c1 is generated by delta 1 so everything gets snapped to 0 and image of delta 2 is this delta complex so you can see that yeah kernel of delta 1 is this delta 1 because everything gets mapped to 0 and image of delta 2 you can see yeah so h1 is just delta 1 modulo delta 1 this will be true for all i which are odd what about i which are even now you see kernel of delta 2 is 0 so what is h2 h2 is kernel of delta 2 or image of delta 3 well denominator does not matter here because the numerator is 0 so this will be true for all hi which is even now only case non-zero remaining is h0 because obviously for higher dimension it is 0 because there are no cells there so the only thing remaining is h0 so c0 over image of delta 1 now as we see the delta 1 is multiplication by 0 map so you see the only non-trivial map here in this case is just in the 0 dimension now this I want to do the circle again yeah so we should get the same homology groups so this time we have two vertices v1 and v2 and two edges e1 and e2 so c0 is generated as z square generated by two vertices v1 and v2 and c1 is generated is also z2 because it is generated by two edges e1 and e2 So let us write down the chain complex. C2, C1 first, and then C0. Obviously, C2 is zero here because there is no two cell. So what is uh, delta one? We want to find out the image of delta one and kernel of delta one. So e this is simply V2 minus V1 and uh, delta e2 is of the opposite sign so what is the generator we just write v1 minus v2 or v2 minus v1 anything is fine so this will generate integers z so, yeah so the image is z so this So what is the kernel of this map? The kernel of this map is Z and the image is also Z. Yeah, I will just talk in a bit why kernel is uh, Z. Okay, uh, first let us write down the homology group. H0 is very easy over image of delta 1. Image of delta 1 we have seen already is Z. There is no confusion about it. What about H1? Okay, so uh, we know that the vertices are of the form the free group uh, Z square is a free group formed from N1 V1 and N2 V2 where N1 and N2 are nothing but integers. So the kernel is sum of these two which goes to zero. Yeah. So this is also generated by integers which are opposite in sign. So n1 and n2 are opposite in sign. So this is what the kernel is. So that is why it is integer zero. 